the taxi driver has seen better days. His 15 clients want him to speed up, whereas the 16th passenger continues to express discontent by mooing constantly. His worn-out jeep struggles to run on the 90-kilometer track leading to the village. Campy has no other choice. He must get through, no matter what it takes. The funeral service will not start without his passengers. In Burma, solidarity remains a cornerstone for families going through tough times. With a little perseverance, the journey reaches its end after three hours of traveling. The passengers and the bullock can finally stretch their legs, although for this animal, the end of the journey truly marks the end of the line. The dish will be accompanied with corn and Campy's family is in charge of cooking it. The young driver could really do without this particular chore because his back is already aching after having spent three hours behind the wheel of his old Jeep. Its shock absorbers are as hard as wood. <laughs> In the next room, the villagers have been gathering around the elderly woman's body for three days. This act is not linked to her status. She was neither wealthy nor particularly noteworthy. Tradition states that the vigil serves to appease the spirit of the deceased before their journey to the afterlife. Campy's truck will serve as the hearse for the grandmother's final journey. However, this trip will prove much more complicated for the young driver than first planned. Ninety percent of the Burmese are Buddhists. Only one percent of the population is Christian, like in this village. The graveyard is only 800 metres away, but 
Unfortunately, it is at the bottom of a hill. The heavens have another plan for Campy. While the elderly woman reaches her final resting place, this young man is wondering if he'll ever be able to get back out of here. One deflated, the tyres sink down and the tread's width increases by a few centimetres, just enough for the truck to grip the track a little more. Unfortunately, Campy now has another problem. <laughs> Evidently, in Burma, laughing seems to be the cure for any problem. However, a helping hand goes a long way. An hour later, and a friend comes to the rescue. They've now been struggling for two hours. Campy realises that he should have thought about bringing chains earlier. The vehicle is no longer sliding around. It's digging holes instead. And to make matters worse, now the chains have broken. But once again, no one loses hope. <laughs> It is already 11pm. A few other villagers have come to help out, in vain. And if that wasn't enough, these men are starting to struggle almost as much as the worn-out jeep. They've been slaving away for eight hours. Oh, no. 
Finally, some of their prayers are answered. Just before midnight, the family of the deceased woman arrive with some reinforcements. <laughs> Re-energized at almost one o'clock in the morning, or rather ten hours later, their salvation finally arrives. The Burmese have learnt the importance of never giving up. After the events following the funeral, Campy is back behind the wheel of his taxi. He's relying on his chains to compensate for his broken 4x4 transmission. These two women are very much aware of the dangers on the track leading into town. It has to be said that this young man makes quite a decent living for himself. He earns 200 euros a month, while a civil servant only earns 75. With this salary, he was able to buy himself this Jeep, albeit a vehicle in poor condition that struggles to overcome obstacles. But in spite of everything, all of the villagers are queuing to travel with him. Campy plays an important social role in this part of the mountain. Somehow, the difficult journey comes to an end. The most important thing is that they got there. In the town, there's no shortage of garages. Luckily for Campy, his 4x4 is quite basic, so repairing it is like child's play. The garage is run by young and very bright people. They're like kings. They're between seven and 12 years old.
At the time of the last census, Burma was said to have more than 4 million working children. <laughs> 